to inspire our life. This is Dana Susan Beasley of AngelArts.biz, and I'm starting a new series on falling in love with the bridegroom, Jesus. Before I get started, if you would like to get a free Valentine's Day package, including a guide on what to do when you've lost that loving feeling, two original gorgeous floral art prints, and a sweet Valentine's principle, click below for the link. This PDF resource is valued at $55 and will be an encouragement even beyond this Valentine's Day, which is why I'm still offering it. So you will really enjoy it, especially if you like gorgeous Victorian kind of artwork. All right, now let's get to today's devotional. I am doing a segment in Ruth, and I'm on Ruth 2. So if you haven't read Ruth 1 and you would like to read Ruth 2, I would pause this and come back. So I will give you just a minute to do that. And then I will read just a little bit of Ruth 2, verses 1 through 7. Friends, this is the word of the Lord. Now Naomi had a relative of, of her husband's, a worthy man of the clan of Elimelech, whose name was Boaz. And Ruth the Moabite said to Naomi, Let me go to the field and glean among the ears of grain after him, in whose sight I shall find favor. And she said to her, Go, my daughter. So she set out and went and gleaned in the field after the reapers. And she happened to come to the part of the field belonging to Boaz, who was of the clan of Elimelech. And behold, Boaz came from Bethlehem. And he said to the reapers, The Lord be with you. And they answered, The Lord bless you. Then Boaz said to his young men, who was in charge of the reapers, Whose young woman is this? And the servant who was in charge of the reapers answered, She is a young Moabite woman who came back with Naomi from the country of Moab. She said, Please let me glean and gather among the sheaves after the reapers. So she came, and she has continued from early morning until now, except for a short rest. So again, read on through chapter 2. Now, here are my thoughts about what the bridegroom is like, what Jesus is, because the whole point of Ruth and this time, this culture, if you do some research, it's all about the kinsman redeemer, because it was a whole different system, especially for women back then, who had to be supported. And so this is what we're going to go through, is, is Ruth discovering her kinsman redeemer. All right, when I first read the passage, I misread it. I thought it said, it turned out. But that is, actually, it said, it so happened. Ruth just happened to glean in the field of her rich relative, one that had the power to lift her out of her poverty. It all looked so bleak for Ruth and Naomi, but God, the great orchestrator, was working out a plan. He is the great orchestrator. But Ruth did not give up. She went out and she humbled herself and worked. She was diligent. Her life and her actions spoke volumes. So what is my response? Don't give up. Keep putting myself out there. A quote-unquote, it just so happened, will happen. It will turn out. I just have to live in faith every day. My Redeemer will come, which Boaz is a type of. He will take care of me, provide for me, give me special treatment, protect me, just like Boaz did with Ruth. And what was God saying to me as I meditated on this passage? It will turn out for me. I just have to be faithful and showing up to do what he's called me to do. I also need to let go of control. And reading this, I makes me think back to when I was single, and I got impatient, I have to say. I made a lot of mistakes, but I got back on the path, and I just was faithful to God to do what he wanted me to do. And I particularly decided realized that I needed to pursue the callings God had given me. And so I started to be diligent about that. And then it just so happened that one day I was passing by a desk of one of my coworkers. I used to work at the Navigators at this time. And she says, how would you like to go to the magical dinner with my friend Travis Beasley from Texas? And that was like six months from then. So I said, why not? So after corresponding for a little bit and 
Talking to Each Other Once on December 2nd, 1995. Travis and I met at the Glenary Castle at a magical medieval feast. And <laughs> it just so happened that day that, you know, back in June, I walked back my walked by my friend Sue's desk. It just so happened that she asked me, would you like to go on this date with my friend? And so <laughs> that was, oh goodness, uh, 28 years ago, over 28 years ago. And we celebrated our 25th anniversary, uh, gee, last November. So, you know, it just so happened. And now fast forward 28 years, and there are other things that I am praying for, that I'm hoping for, that I'm desiring, that God is calling me to, and, and I'm diligently working on that. And part of that is this podcast. And so I just need to do it, keep doing it, and keep doing the other things God is calling me to do. And one of these days, it will. I will have another it just so happened moment, just like Ruth. So it's very encouraging. So what do we need to do? Be diligent, be faithful, show up, and do the work. That's, that's all we have to do, and God will orchestrate the rest. All right, so I hope that brought you encouragement. I'm going to end with prayer, and then I will say goodbye until tomorrow. All right. So, dear Lord, help us to be diligent and to trust in you and thank you that you are the great orchestrator and whatever it is that we're going through, just help us to be faithful and thank you that you are going to show up and you are going to work wonders in our lives. And it's in your precious name I pray. Amen. All right, so that's all for the day. Tomorrow I'll continue my series on falling in love with the bridegroom. Again, if you want the free Valentine's Day package, check the link below. And next week, I'm going to be promoting something else, so you might want to just grab that now so you have it. You will still like that artwork. You will love it, especially if you love Victorian kind of of uh, pictures. So anyway, would you like to go deeper with the scriptures? Find out more about my Becoming God's Bride Bible study. We'll also teach you how to study the Bible. Check that out also in the description box below. So with that, I'm going to leave you with my favorite blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. This is Dana Susan Beasley of AngelArts.biz. Together, may we reach new heights in our lives and beyond.